This is audible. The power of high performance coaching for individuals, teams and businesses. In this original content for Audible, where I'm representing Professional Speakers Association, I will share with you how high performance coaching can help individuals, teams and businesses to enhance their performance levels. I'm Sangeeta Shankaran Sumesh, a high performance coach credentialed from International Coach Federation and also a chartered accountant and management accountant with over two decades of experience, including leadership positions with multinationals. I'm also an advisor for startups, author of the bestseller, What the Finance, and a professional speaker. We live in an era where everyone would like to grow in their respective domains. And I'm sure you're no exception. What do you think triggers the growth mindset? One of them is wanting high performance. Apart from enabling financial growth and becoming a leader, high performance gives you a sense of accomplishment, self-satisfaction and boosts your morale. However, while wanting to perform and grow, the reality is that there are challenges that sometimes leave you stuck, making you wonder how you are to proceed further. Do you want to move your performance to higher levels and want to achieve your very best? Are you desirous to peak your potential? And are you feeling lost sometimes, seeking clarity on the way forward? Then this talk, which is part of the eye opener series, will reveal how you can move ahead and stay in the path of high performance. Stay tuned in with me, Sangeeta, to know more on how you can be a high performer in your walk of life. One of the proven ways of achieving high performance is to get yourself a coach who can drive you towards excellence. You're probably wondering how exactly a coach can help in achieving high performance in your domain. I suppose you're also thinking, what is high performance coaching? Let me make it simple and start by telling you two real life anecdotes. She was born in Hyderabad to national level volleyball players. Her elder sister is a national level handball player. Although her family was into sports, she initially wanted to pursue medicine. However, she was inspired by watching the success of the player in the game of badminton and went on to become the first Indian woman to win an Olympic silver medal. None other than P.V. Sindhu, who was awestruck seeing her coach's performance that she chose to play badminton. Sindhu's coach, like we know, is Pulela Gopichand. And Sindhu has been coached by him for over 12 years and continues to train with him even today. Now, you're probably wondering whether you need to aspire to get an Olympic medal to be a high performer. Maybe you've also assumed that Gopichand was her coach because he was an exceptional badminton player himself. What if I were to break this myth? Listen to the second anecdote, which is about Anant. Anant, an engineer by profession, and passionate about music. He was not only a talented singer, but also had the unique ability to create percussion sounds from within. However, despite having this unique talent, he lacked motivation, kept procrastinating, and was not taking any steps to showcase his talents. Although he had a percussion teacher, he was irregular in his classes, was giving excuses to himself and not finding time to practice and rehearse. He felt very disturbed about the fact that he was not able to do much despite having this talent. The main challenge he felt was he was unable to do much as deep down he had the fear of failure. 
he thought he was not good enough and had low levels of self confidence which came in his way of progress every time he wanted to break free from these thoughts he was getting more caught up in them and was not progressing it was then that he chanced upon a high performance coach and decided to seek help to better his situation and do you know what happened you thought he became an overnight success right no not at all while there are situations where you could get an immediate solution by getting coached there are situations which could take longer the pace of progress depends on the circumstances challenges and capabilities of each individual so after about 8 months of getting coached anant transformed for the better he ensured he attended his classes regularly had the time to practice his lessons and became a much happier and self confident person pursuing his love of music along with his unique ability of performing an a cappella he went on to perform at local concerts winning the hearts of many anant has now moved notches up on his scale by his improved level of performance and is a much happier individual so like you notice it is not necessary to win medals to be a high performer when you achieve your own set targets of growth you are a high performer was anand's coach a musician no not at all so it's true that the coach need not be a domain expert that's probably making you wonder who is a high performance coach and what a coach does a coach is not a teacher not a mentor not a counselor not a consultant and not necessarily a domain expert a coach is one who partners with you provokes your thoughts inspires you to take action allows you to reflect and helps you to get your solutions to your challenges a coach does not provide advice but facilitates your development and enhances your awareness would you also like to know what high performance is if yes here's takeaway number 1 for you high performance is when you achieve superior results by performing to a high standard and who do you think sets the targeted performance level none other than your own self you are your own judge who's evaluating your performance and your own boss acknowledging your potential to perform at a higher standard you are the one to truly know your capabilities and the results that you want to achieve thus you compete with yourself each time and strive to get better and peak your performance levels so my dear listener what is your plan to move to the next level of performance having given you some food for thought i will now share with you about the power of high performance coaching for senior leaders high performance coaching for leaders yes you heard it right are you pondering why leaders need to be coached once again allow me to share my real life experience on coaching leaders i'm sure you would agree that the team's performance has a direct impact on the performance of a leader by exhibiting excellent leadership traits the best performance in the team is brought out there were a set of leaders who were wondering how they could become better leaders of their teams be a good role model and become more efficient as leaders the participants of this high performance coaching workshop were all senior leaders from different organizations what transpired at the end of the session were some valuable learnings for all the leaders if you are a leader or an aspiring leader listen to these bonus takeaways with all ears number 1 listening skills the leaders 
acknowledged that they were not listening fully to their team members they also felt they had a preconceived notion which at times prevented them from paying full attention to the words of their teammates thus they wanted to work on improving their listening skills second point appreciation the important point for immediate action they felt was as leaders they needed to appreciate and encourage their team members by lacking words of appreciation they felt they were depriving their team from recognition and motivation so appreciation was an implementable action these leaders walked away with next takeaway was on their attitude to learning upon reflection they realized that leaders need to be open to learn from all including their juniors at times the fact that they were senior subconsciously prevented them from learning from their juniors they wanted to do away with a know it all attitude as it came in the way of their new learnings it dawned on them that it impacted their learning negatively which they decided to set it right fourth ego was the valuable insight they got as leaders they felt they needed to let go of their ego they had high expectations that their team needed to follow their instructions and not challenge them about the decisions as they were senior in position compared to their teammates at the end of the session the leaders realized they should let go of ego last point was mindfulness they felt as leaders they needed to strive to be mindful of their words and actions as the leaders have the responsibility to lead by example thus they got greater awareness that they had to be careful of their words behavior and actions they decided to exhibit caution in their approach so that their team can follow suit therefore you notice that leaders also need to be coached on improving their leadership skills as that helps them to bring out the best leader in them the leaders were extremely happy with their takeaways and felt ready to take on their teams here's takeaway number 2 there is scope for improvement and higher performance in everybody irrespective of what you do and however experienced you may be a coach makes it easier for you by enabling you to peak your potential the beauty of coaching is that it makes you realize the areas where you can step up your performance have you identified which are the areas where you would like to enhance your performance let's move on we looked at how leaders were benefited by getting coached let's now go to the other extreme the millennials yet another real life anecdote gopal was a department head in a multinational which was filled with millennials although his team respected him gopal felt it was challenging for him as a department head as his team resisted change and he as the head had the onus of driving changed processes added to it his team members did not want to shoulder the responsibility of the assigned work both these factors were barriers to his team's performance although gopal tried enforcing the changed aspects as well as responsibility onto the team it seemed to backfire on him gopal felt stressed it was at this juncture when the organization's human resources head briefed him about high performance coaching gopal decided to grab the opportunity gopal briefed the coach on the challenges he faced from his team of millennials the coach quickly customized a coaching program focusing on embracing change and 
to shoulder responsibility for the target audience. At the end of the program, to the surprise of Gopal, his team members summarized their learnings. One was that change is required to keep pace with the ever-changing world and the other being they needed to take accountability and responsibility of the tasks assigned to them. Gopal found it magical and was curious to know what transpired during the coaching session. That, my friends, is the power of coaching as a coach helps in creating the required awareness. Here's takeaway number three. The aspiration to achieve combined with the awareness of possibilities can change everything. If the persons getting coached have the aspiration to get to higher levels of performance, a coach can create the required magic. A coach does not judge you and only considers your future potential. What are your aspirations and where are you headed in your journey? Let me share an interesting tidbit. Do you know how the word coach came into existence? It originates from the word coach, a mode of transport which is meant to take you from where you are to where you want to be. And this is precisely what a coach does. Helps you to get to the higher level of performance that you want. Continuing with the millennials, let me fill you in with more real life stories. Deepak was an IT professional who was overwhelmed with his work. On average, he used to clock about 12 hours in a day for the organization where he worked. At a recent family gathering, he realized that most of his cousins were in senior positions in the corporate world compared to him. While he was happy at their progress, he felt low about himself and felt the need to fast track his career to be on par with the rest. This meant he had to upskill himself and probably study further. He felt confused and was not sure what would be the right course for him to pursue. Deepak also realized that he actually did not have the time for his career development. He further felt that he should get promoted in his current organization considering all the hard work he had put in. However, when he spoke to his boss about his promotion, his boss pointed out areas where he had to improve before climbing the corporate ladder. This included his communication skills and time management skills which were a deterrent to his promotion. Deepak felt demotivated hearing this from his boss. He started to feel anxious about his future. It was at this juncture that he decided to seek the services of a high performance coach which proved to be a game changer for Deepak. The coach deep dived into the root cause which helped Deepak to overcome his beliefs about himself. The reality that appeared to Deepak was, deep down, he had a huge inferiority complex and hence, even though he knew everything about the work that he did, he was being doubly cautious to ensure he was doing his work correctly. And this is what had impacted both his communication as well as his time management. He was actually thinking in his mind before he could answer and therefore the flow of words was not smooth resulting in lack of cogency. Further, he realized that he was spending too much time in checking all his work which resulted in spending extra hours in the office. During the coaching conversation, it transpired to Deepak that he just had to let go his inferiority complex which will enable him to be the subject matter expert. He went on to realize that by doing so, he will not have to spend long hours at work 
and utilize that time to learn and upgrade his skills which would help him in his career growth he decided to talk to his seniors about the right courses to pursue which would help him to acquire more knowledge in his area of work he felt confident and empowered with his new found insight he also knew that he could peak his potential and was ready to get to greater heights deepak is now extremely happy with his career progression so here's takeaway number 4 the coach enables you to overcome your challenges and facilitates to bring out the best solutions because if you have a challenge you have the solution to it as well think about what are the challenges that you are seeking to overcome at times as you get to your solutions you could find newer challenges cropping up either in the same area or a totally different area the next real life story will illustrate this in this example i'm going to tell you how high performance coaching can help businesses and entrepreneurs to reach higher efficiency levels tamil was an entrepreneur who felt he was not progressing in his business he felt stuck as the business did not grow like how he had anticipated he was confused and wanted clarity on how to move his business ahead that is when one of his friend introduced tamil to a high performance coach tamil opted to get coached as he realized that his business was stagnant and he desperately wanted growth he had ambitious growth plans for the next financial year for his business but was unsure how he would go about achieving his targets tamil was very excited to present his business plans to his coach after hearing him out what the coach did was to challenge his ambitious plans during the course of the coaching conversation was when it occurred to tamil that when the plan looked good on paper he was not being realistic his ambition seemed to have blurred his vision from reality he realized that his plan seemed to be theoretical and not practical thus his awareness grew that in reality he would never be able to achieve the projected numbers this was a hard hitting takeaway but at the same time it dawned on him that he needed to rephrase his business strategy the first session of coaching shook him up for sure so before the second coaching session he prepared his new business strategy he took extra care this time and presented a realistic one to his coach this coaching session was an eye opener for him as it provided him with a new perspective of his business strategy do you know what that was he realized that he had pegged himself with many competitors he had in his business and had arrived at his pricing strategy at those levels by pricing at this level tamil had totally omitted to look at the bigger players and how he could scale up his business to the next level this realization opened a totally new dimension of his business outlook and he had an aha moment he quickly started building on this area by identifying the loopholes of the bigger players started addressing the pain points of his customers and increased his pricing levels to his own surprise his business grew to higher levels and he was more than happy that he got himself a high performance coach it didn't stop there tamil continued his coaching session with his coach tamil identified another challenge his business posed on him while the business grew he realized that his cash flow was getting impacted so he wanted to overcome this challenge in the third coaching session and what do you think he got as his takeaway 
yet another spark of an idea he expanded his business by opening newer verticals that were related to his main business and this happened to be his core area of strength and in this business verticals there were no cash flow delays he was able to utilize the cash from this vertical to pay all dues on time and felt a great sigh of relief he was thrilled as well because due to the opening of the new verticals it contributed to the growth of his business the case does not end there you know why few weeks down the line tamil felt drained he felt he was unable to cope with the quick growth of his business he felt he did not have any time for himself nor his family or even manage all aspects of his business so this was his topic of discussion in the fourth coaching session to his own surprise he got amazing solutions at the end of the session he realized that he had a fantastic team yet he was not delegating he was independently handling all aspects of the business he was actually micromanaging every aspect of his business so the action he decided was that he needed to ensure that each of the team members contributed directly and his role should be more at the managerial level thus tamil reaches out to his coach to discuss and overcome his business challenges time for takeaway number 5 in order to be a high performer you must consistently strive to overcome the barriers to your growth a high performance coach helps by partnering with you and helps you to get over your hurdles and obstacles in the areas of your choice a coach is not only a patient listener but also acts as a facilitator who brings out the best in you let me pick your brain again what actions are you doing to be a high performer in your domain we have just seen how a coach enables high performance of individuals leaders millennials and businesses now let us see how teams can be benefited by the power of coaching for high performance an american company wanted to enhance the performance levels of the teams to achieve their yearly targets majority of the team had been in the system for over 8 years and were familiar with all the processes the management felt that the team had reached a saturation point with regard to their performance and wondered how they could increase the team's productivity that is when they roped in a high performance coach a workshop was conducted which emphasized on their business values the members of the workshop included everyone across the organization the coach customized and organized the workshop in such a manner that it was fun and involved learning along with animated and exciting discussions amongst the members the teams came together and a sense of bonding was developed it also opened the team to a deeper understanding of the company's vision and values the teams went a step ahead and realized how by implementing the values and the vision of the business they would be able to deliver higher and better quality all the participants went back with a higher state of resourcefulness waiting to implement all their learnings from the workshop now are you thinking what is required to get coached so here's takeaway number 6 just one requirement to get coached which is your desire your desire to improve your desire to get better your desire to overcome your challenges your desire to find clarity your desire to find solutions and so on so when are you getting started in your high performance journey by the way do you know who sets the coaching agenda none but you of course there are times when the boss can set the objective for the team 
like in the example of Gopal. Again, the only requirement is that the team or the individual should be willing to get coached. And you know what? All the coaching conversations are kept confidential and hence the person getting coached can feel free to speak up their mind. The coach further does not share anything with the boss who has engaged the coach. It is up to the person who has got coached to share the learnings or not with the boss who has appointed the coach. By now, I'm sure you're quite excited about coaching. Are you now thinking on what basis you should select a coach? Let me help you there as well. So here's takeaway number 7. Selecting the right coach is rather simple. Just ask these simple questions. 1. Do you think you can establish a chemistry with your prospective coach? Number 2. Do you feel comfortable and at ease to talk to the person you're considering as your coach? And number 3. What is your gut feel telling you about how your prospective coach can help you with your challenges? You can also check if the person is a credentialed coach, what their coaching experience is and seek testimony from their clients. High performance coaching is a beautiful journey and not a destination. Did you know that even Steve Jobs had a coach? Also, just like how all sports professionals have a coach to get better, everyone requires a coach to develop and bring out the best. No wonder it's said that everyone needs a coach. So what are you waiting for? When are you getting started? I invite you to discover an experience high performance coaching which will lead you towards better clarity, empower you, provide you with superior results and thereby higher performance. To quickly summarize the power of high performance coaching, we saw how coaching can be widely used by individuals, teams and businesses. The coach is a patient listener, partners with you and helps you to achieve what you want to achieve. The coach need not be a domain expert. By getting coached, you can get more clarity, peak your potential, perform to higher standards, get deeper insights and move ahead in the direction of your choice. Therefore, if you have the desire to overcome your challenges and move to higher levels of performance, working with a high performance coach can be very rewarding. For more details, you can also refer to my website www.sss.coach. If you are an entrepreneur seeking high performance, you can read my book, What the Finance, which is available on Amazon and other online portals. Wishing you more success and growth in your journey of high performance. Until later, signing off here and saying bye-bye is Sangeeta Shankaran Sumesh. That was an audible presentation. There are many more. Select, listen, enjoy.